So uh, just just so you guys know, uh, some history here because I mean these are both homies, training partners. Um, oh yeah, they're from like the same area, right? Well, I mean like they're both mine. That's wrong. That looks wrong. Juan Diver, no, that's right. That's true. Okay, cool. Hashtag good story. Continue your story. Yeah, so like, uh, cause I always go over train with Jake, and um, I take uh, Ben with Quan Divers with me. So uh, we're all familiar with these three matchups between like uh, Falcon, Luigi, and Daisy. Mm. So this is one of the people that Jake does not like playing at all. Oh yeah, I don't feel like there are a lot of people who go out of their way to fight Luigi. <laughs> you, know? you know what I mean? Like Luigi's like not that. Not the worst by any means, mm -hmm. but he's not really like the character in Smash you're looking for in the fighting. He's just inherently not fun to fight. Like the yeah. hard to combo, you gotta like, you gotta play it really safe. He's really slippery for some reason. He's just, just kind of weird. Yeah. But Jake should have like, oh god, he's getting, he's getting kind of body here. It's kind of getting hit <laughs> a little bit. Uh, yeah, Luigi has a very good combo game on fastballers. He has the combo break ability. And his kind of sliding motion is almost like burst movement, where he can just kind of slide in and catch you out of a weird aerial with like an up smash. Or... Yeah. So I don't know, like Venom can't, like the long strings that he usually likes for combos, and those kind of can't happen. He has to like play very patiently, uh, he has to wait for Quan to get off the ledge, things like that. So he kind of has to play his game, which isn't something he likes to do. Yeah, but we do know that back at uh, Suarez to Smash, he did beat uh, oh, I Love Bagels. Bagels is pretty good at Smash. Yeah, so he does, like, he can do it. He's beaten better Luigi, but we'll, yeah. we'll see if he can do it, like, today. Yeah, and, and uh... How, who's Quan? I feel like Quan has beaten good people. Quan's he's beaten IPK as Fox. Oh, uh, yeah. He's beaten Sne Sneeze once. Um, he's beaten Mickey before. And actually, at that same tournament, it was out in LA. He uh, played <laughs> both Arrow and Arrow and Venom, and he almost beat them. It had unfortunate circumstances which uh, prevented it from happening. Damn. So uh, that sucks. I don't know. Quan's <laughs> good. He just doesn't have as many wins as he like. He's trying to do something. It's true. So I mean. I mean, he's been kind of on and off, but I feel like he's getting a bit more consistent now. Like I know he went to PM and PM. Yeah. He's been going to like see, like. Hopefully we can see his little comeback. Just like now with Two Jar not playing anymore, like we don't really have a like a Luigi in SoCal. Yeah, Two Jar's uh, going wolf. Yeah, and so far Juan is putting up a hell of a fight. He's like got quite a solid lead. He's yeah, been comboing sounds. Jake really well. Yeah, it's uh -oh. one of those things where as you see Jake has to dance around, and get him out of crouch cancel percents. Good high recovery. Mm -hmm. That was kind of weird. <laughs> and he has like space really well. <laughs> Probably gonna see a lot of nares. Oh, and Fireball's right now. So I don't know. It's just this matchup is it's kind of a chess match. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you should be really patient. Especially with Captain Falcon. Like, you need to, like... And you gotta know when to, like, back off, I think. Because, exactly. like, I think like that's one of the hardest things about fighting Luigi. Not that he's, like, a new to Luigi fighter, but I know when I first started fighting Luigi, it was a lot of, like, knowing when to, like, let the combo stop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Especially with Falcon, like, I feel like most players are just gonna let that ride. This is how it's. But yeah, he's starts. getting it now. But I'm getting yeah. it. Like, he's doing those two hits and then he back up. Yeah, it took him a little while to get yeah. warmed up and jab reset. Oh no. Up throw, we all attack know. in place. Venom and Falcon in general can get punished. Yeah, yeah all that landing lag. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's got greedy. Juan Divers is reaching now. Yeah. So he needs to take his time. See, his, yeah. his little foot is not going to reach as far as <laughs> Falcon's huge foot. Yeah. <laughs> So, no, and another thing is, uh, ledge dashes are very important in this matchup, and Quan Divers has a history of either having super, super crispy ledge dashes or messing it up and dying. So, oh, <laughs> ledge play is going to be uh, pretty important from Quan Divers' side, whereas, like, uh, most times, uh, Venom's just kind of should just let him on because you don't want to challenge that so much. Yeah, you can kind of feel Venom picking it up, picking up how, like, the, the, the pace of the match should be yeah. towards the end there. Like, yeah. he was kind of connecting those dots on... I think he just went in a bit too excited. Yeah. And he had to, like, kick it back a bit. But he was able to do that within a game. Yeah. So, so like, you it's, know. It's, it's, that's, that's what happens when you're top five in yeah, SoCal. And I you think know. that kind of got Quan off a bit at the end there. He wasn't ready for, like, Venom to be so quickly, like, adjusted. Yeah. Because he was still kind of playing at his pace. We'll see if Quan can kind of throw it back in his favor this yeah. round. Oh, uh, so now we have. Oh, that, well, I mean, you know, we have the one that comes in and out. Yeah. So that's not going to help. Situational platinum. Yeah, that's that, let's call it that. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna help Venom much because now he's not gonna be able to escape from some of these combos. But um, and Venom as a player doesn't really like non-platform stages. He likes platforms for movement and you know like escape opportunities. So I don't know. This is a pretty good counter pick on Quan Divers' part. 
short walls can be bad for him though, but you know, we'll see what happens. Get high recovery. But it's starting out kind of more or less the same as last time. Fawn's like starts off fast and we yeah, build a finish. Yeah, has like connect the dots. Yeah, so that's first dot. Ooh, nipples, spike. <laughs> Yeah, he's already down a sock, and Luigi's not really... He's only at 45, and I feel like Luigi's not really on this stage, and maybe not against Falcon, but he's kind of a longer survivor of a lot of a lot of characters. And I know a lot of people struggle with, like, uh, edge guarding him, but especially on this stage, Venom's not going to have to worry about that. Yeah, he's, he's just going to kill him outright. <laughs> yeah, he's, I mean, Falcon doesn't have any moves that kill off the top, which is mostly the size he has to worry about, so that will be the trade-off for uh, the lack of platforms, which helps him out. Yeah. And one thing I'm, I've been seeing a lot is like Nair confirms real nicely into things and backs off. Smart. But he just kind of like waits for the Nair to open him up at high enough percent, he gets the stock. Even. They're, they're at an even percent, basically, too. I feel like we're having the same thing as last match, where Venom is just kind of slowly picking it up again. Yeah, and it's that's. Like getting that, that stage control, too. Yeah. That's too bad. And from the kind of under. Under PR level, like that's not what you want. You don't want because I mean we saw the dash and take three stocks the game before. This time only took one stock. Yeah, it so was very pretty quick. It's not what you want to see when you're the underdog, so to speak. Yeah. But it's been very close last game, still super close. I think one can take this. He just needs to like he just needs to like carry his punishes farther. Because like let's see him. Oh here we go. And those edge guards. He had a good edge guard in the last one where he just like didn't let like uh, Venom went for the side beam and just like held that. Ooh, oh, no. what in the world? That was a weird. Did he go for like a side beam there? Like... I think probably a down key. I don't know. Part oh, has nice. some really weird flips sometimes. Like you see him doing a lot of dash attacks. It's probably. Not. Okay, get over there. Get over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I know one thing is in the earlier stocks we were seeing Quan and shield a lot. Now we're starting to see uh, Venom back in shield. So it's kind of like Corber. Start shielding is goes. I mean, obviously, defensive position isn't normally the best, but especially in this matchup, it gets dangerous to stay in shield because you have like sliding grabs, you have like the pseudo shield pressure, you have like a lot of very dangerous hitboxes and pokes that start coming out, and both characters can punish rules yeah, pretty well. Both, both characters move relatively fast, too. Yeah. Like Luigi, like you wouldn't think Luigi, but <laughs> Luigi, dude, that dude moves. Oh, what? He's got like butter on his shoes or something. Oh no. And Venom scary. is the grease up depth. This, oh, the scary thing though is Luigi's super floating and Falcon loves that shit. He loves being able to like toss and tumble the, the floaties. Yeah, uh, gentleman's knee, that's gonna kill. Yeah, that's it. And that one was... thing I keep telling Quan is like, he gets people conditioned into shield really well, but then he usually doesn't capitalize with like raw grabs or like jab to grab mix-ups. He usually just does a lot of aerials and keeps shielding it and forcing rolls maybe, but yeah. there's a couple times there where you could have grabbed Venom towards the edge and back through him or... And I feel like Luigi can get a lot off his grabs too. 